today we are going on a peninsula food tour and I also am bringing along my sister. It's been a while since she's been on the channel. <laughs> About once every year, we pick a day and we go eat a bunch of stuff. And today is that day. She doesn't really come to the peninsula to eat that often. So I'm going to show her around to some of my favorite spots and we're going to take you guys along with us. So let's go eat. Let's go eat. <laughs> All right, so for our first stop on today's Peninsula food tour, we are at Kajiken, which is actually from Japan, and they have dry ramen here, all different kinds. On the menu, it said that their most popular one is this one. It has spicy minced pork, green onion, bamboo, chives, fish powder, seaweed, and a raw egg yolk on top. So let's mix this all up. Ooh, I love breaking open a runny egg yolk. It's one of the most satisfying things. Gotta make sure you get everything in there and incorporate it evenly. Look how springy and bouncy the noodles are. Look at that. Completely coated in all the sauce, all the toppings. Mm. They hand make their own noodles here and it really shows because this noodle texture is on point. The flavors in here are super rich, very umami and savory from that pork. It's actually not very spicy even though this one has the spicy minced pork. It has the rich and creaminess from the egg yolk. I love the different textures of like the green onion and the bamboo. Mm. And then what's really great about this place is that they have this station at every table where you can add a bunch of different things to customize it to your liking. So if you want it more acidic, add some vinegar. If you want it more spicy, you have the chili oil and the chili powder. If you want some nuttiness, you can add the sesame. So you can really just customize it to your liking. I'm gonna add some vinegar to mine just to cut through the richness. It adds extra acidity and it really cuts through like the richness of the egg yolk and all that. All right, now I'm gonna try my sister's original Arbura Soba. Mm. This one is much lighter in flavor than that one, but it's still really good. It's like yeah. simple but good. Mm. Oh, that pork. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it just melted in my mouth. The chashu. Mmm. Mm. Back House, which sells artisan bread and pastries. Usually they have a lot of different pastries to choose from, but we went a little later, so there was less of a selection. So if you want to get the good stuff, definitely make sure you go early. But we did end up picking up two things for us to try today. The first thing we got is the Everything Croissant Bowl with cream cheese filling. Oh my God, it smells absolutely amazing. It literally smells just like an everything bagel. On the outside, you can see that it has all these like sesame seeds and other seasonings that I can't tell what they are. And then on the inside, you see that nice cream cheese filling. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, it's really nice. I mean, if you love everything but the bagel seasoning, you're gonna love this. It's basically the croissant version of an everything bagel. It's like savory. There's yeah. lots of different flavors in there. And the croissant is nice and flaky and buttery too. Of course, the cream cheese is a nice addition. I mean, I love bagels with cream cheese. And then the next thing we got is this plum and almond crow stock. I'm actually not really sure <laughs> what a crow stock is, but the worker that was helping us recommended it. So it looks kind of like a croissant toast yeah. with some sort of jam and almond on it and powdered sugar and the plum on top. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bottom has like a nice, almost crystallized sugar type thing or like caramelization on it. It's really nice. It has like that sweet, flaky, buttery kind of crust. yeah crust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the jam in the middle, it has like an orangey flavor a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. Is it orange or like apricot? I yeah, I was thinking maybe mm -hmm. apricot even. Yeah, it is nice and sweet, but it's also not overly sweet either. And then you get the crunch from the almonds. They're really generous with the almonds. Mm -hmm. So it provides a really nice crunch. And then we also stopped by one of my favorite cookie shops Antoine's Cookie Shop. They have a lot of different flavors. They have classics like chocolate chip, white chocolate macadamia, but they also have more unique cookies like cookies and cream, honeycomb, which is one of my personal favorites. And inside the shop, they even have a microwave for you to warm up your cookies if you want them warm. So we're gonna start off with a classic, which is chocolate chip, but we got their dark chocolate chip. Let's break this apart. 
Ooh, you can see the chocolate chips are quite big. Cheers. Mmm. The outside, nice and crispy, chewy on the inside. The chocolate's still a little melty too. Oh, it's perfect. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. Next, let's try the cookies and cream. Oh my gosh. Cheers. Mmm. -hmm. You can really taste the chocolate cookie part. Interestingly enough, I feel like in here, you don't really get much of the cream part of the Oreo right. and mostly just the cookie part of the Oreo. Mm -hmm. Next step, we have the honeycomb. Every time I go to Antoine's, I have to get the honeycomb one. Ooh. Honeycomb is not a flavor that I would expect to like in a cookie, but they make it really good. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like the little crispy bits. Yeah, it adds They're like an extra nice. texture. It's almost like a crispy, chewy texture because the honeycomb's like sticky. It has mm. that like stickiness to it. And then last but not least, we have the oatmeal chip with pecans. I personally am not a nuts in my cookies kind of person. Mm. I like just I love having nuts. normal. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly this is the one that my sister chose. <laughs> but let's try it. Nice. Cheers. Cheers. I don't think I got any pecan. Yeah, there's not much pecan in there. I only yeah. got oatmeal and chocolate. It's, yeah, it's very oatmeal forward. I like the texture. This one does have more of a crisp than the, than the others mm -hmm. on the outside. Yummy cookies. Yummy. It's easy which is actually not a restaurant. It's just like a little place where you can pick up takeout orders. I do believe that you have to order them at least a day in advance. So I placed this order yesterday. But yeah, this one that we got is from Back House, which is the same name as the pastry place that we went to. The pastry place is Back House, H-A-U-S, and this is Back House, H-O-U-S-E. This sushi box is beautiful. Wow. So we ordered the mixed bento. It has three pieces of king salmon, five pieces, pieces of tuna and two pieces of pesto toro maki which sounds really interesting i don't know if i've ever had pesto with sushi before but they have definitely some like experimental flavors i'm so excited okay what's on top i'm pretty sure it's enoki mushroom oh okay yeah interesting huh yeah cheers, cheers. Mmm, the fish tastes really really fresh. It has a nice like tuna flavor mm -hmm. And also the rice has mm -hmm. a nice texture too like a little chewy. Yeah, you can feel each grain not mushy Dude when it comes to sushi rice is so important mm -hmm. and the different textures of the enoki too very interesting yeah. I like, I like the sauce on it too. It was delish as mom would say. Yes. Let's try the salmon one. Cheers Mm. Salmon's really nice and mm -hmm. fatty, like mm -hmm. melts in your mouth. But wow, pesto with salmon. It works. Yeah, it works. And they didn't put too much, so it's not like overpowering the fish. Right, right. Nice. It like lets the fish shine, but then the pesto kind of complements it as like another flavor. Let's try this one. I'm very curious about it. Looks like it has cheese on it. So intrigued. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I mean, the tuna quality is really nice, fatty, melts in your mouth, but then the cheese, it adds this savory, saltiness, kind of creaminess too. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting. All right, let's try this one. I'm not quite sure what this one is. It almost looks like there's brown sugar or something. Oh gosh. <laughs> Cheers. I don't know what that is on top, actually, yeah. But this fish is a different type of fish. Like, I thought it was hamachi, but it's not hamachi. I don't think it tastes quite like hamachi. That one's probably my least favorite. Yeah, same. I think that one we give to Bert. <laughs> <laughs> but let's try the Toro Maki. Cheers. 
Mm, that one was really good. I'd say that was kind of more classic. I really like those maki. I always order it. So I really like that, you know, the simple classic seaweed with rice with fish. And then it was just like elevated with the little ikur on top. Mm -hmm. You get the little pop up, yep. you know? What is it that mom calls it? Like seafood boba. <laughs> Seafood popping boba. Seafood popping boba. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> We are at New England Lobster Market and Eatery. And if you want fresh lobster, this is where you go. And when I was planning for this food tour, I originally was like, oh, we probably can't go here because my sister is actually allergic to a lot of shellfish. So lobster, shrimp, crab, she's allergic to those, but she's okay with like oysters and clams and stuff. So before we came, we saw that they have clam chowder on the menu and she was like, I'm down for clam chowder. But then we got here and turns out they only have lobster corn chowder right now. So they're not serving clam chowder. So the only things that she could order that she wasn't allergic to are the fish taco and we also got her some oyster and clam so a little unexpected but hopefully still like it <laughs> i got a lobster roll <laughs> This one is called their dressed lobster roll. It's one fourth pounds of fresh picked lobster meat mixed with light mayo, salt, and pepper on a brioche style bun served with house made chips, coleslaw, and lemon. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the lime on. Oh, not lime, lemon. <laughs> squeeze the lemon. Mmm, that lobster is so fresh. Has such a nice lobster flavor. It has like a nice bite to it. A little snappy almost. Really good with this toasted roll. I love when the roll is nice and toasted. Has a nice crisp on the outside. Really solid lobster roll. I've also tried their lobster plate here and that is so good too. Let's have one of their house-made chips. Mmm. Mm, so, so crispy. Almost like kettle chips, but not as crunchy as kettle chips. More crispy. If you love seafood, like lobster, crab, definitely check them out. Time for our midday boba break. We went to one of my favorite places in the peninsula, Grey Pollock. This one is the Pink Lady Guava and it comes with cheese foam on top. And I also like to add crystal boba on the bottom because that's my favorite topping to add to like refreshing drinks. And then we also got the Cotton Candy Grape Slush, which also comes with cheese foam. And I also got crystal boba on the bottom as well. So basically how I like to drink this, it comes with this lid that also covers the hole so nothing can come out. I like to just shake it up. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Um, I think your shaking needs some help. Hold on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> of course, we have to use our Feed Mamie Glass Boba Straw. Link will be in the description as always. You can see the crystal boba on the bottom. Pink. I know, that oh. one's really pretty. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow, so good and refreshing. It's been hot today, so this is like perfect for summer. This one is a slush, so you get that kind of like icy-ish yeah, texture. Yeah, kind of like a smoothie-ish texture. I feel like the crystal boba works so well in this one particularly because mm. it has grape flavor and crystal boba, it kind of like brings that grape-ish texture to the drink. Yeah, I can see that. It's like creamy from the cheese foam, but not too creamy where it's not refreshing. It's right. still very light. And I really like the guava flavor in here too. Oh, yeah, nice give me some. <laughs> Mm. In this grape one, there's like grape skins in there yeah, too. Yeah, a little so you bit. Get a little texture of that takes it to the next level. Yum, 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 yum. Sitting but fell so far away. Last night was one big holiday. Cool winds on me out by the shade. Our next stop on our food tour is Suzanne's Cake and Pastry, and they are very well known for their Portuguese egg tarts. Let's open this up. Oh my gosh, they look glorious. Ah, I get so excited. <laughs> Ooh, it's warm yes. on the bottom. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That custard inside is so jiggly mm -hmm. and creamy and like sweet, but not mm -hmm. too sweet. Yeah. And eggy. All mm. the things you look for. Custard is also nice and flaky, mm -hmm. right? Crispy, flaky. It is a bit on the thin side, though. True, true. I wish it was thicker because, like, the filling to crust ratio is like very, intense. Very custard. But really solid. Delish. Mm hmm.
Okay, so the next stop on our peninsula food tour is Taqueria San Bruno and this one I've actually never been to before but I've heard great things about it. It's quite hard to find parking so just a heads up and also I definitely recommend calling ahead to place your order because sometimes they're really busy and it can take some time. So yeah, today we got their super burrito with Al Pastor and also what I was really excited to see was that they had a little salsa bar in there because I can like drink salsa and I learned that from mom. Yeah. <laughs> this is a thick burrito and you can tell that they grilled the tortilla as well which is always a plus in my book all right let's open it Ooh. oh my gosh it's filled That's jumbo you can see there's like beans and rice and cheese and guac and the malpa store meat of course oh oh my gosh i love green salsa <laughs> cheers, cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, I love the green salsa. This one has like a nice kick. I don't know, it just like adds this like freshness too. That is a good amount of heat. You get the nice rice and beans. I also get the creaminess from the cheese. And then the meat is actually really flavorful. It's cooked really nicely too. Mm -hmm. To avoid spilling in the car, I also mm -hmm. like to sip the salsa. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ah, so that way you nice. get everything yeah. together. <laughs> mm -hmm. The tortilla is also really nice. Like it has a nice chew and it's also not super doughy. Like I don't like it when it's like hella doughy. I feel like there's just the right amount of rice, just the right amount of beans, just the right amount of meat, just mm -hmm. the right amount of like guac and sour cream too. Yeah. So they all sing together. Considering all the like parking complications and you know, calling on the phone, we had to call like what? Probably mm. 10 times yeah. before we got through. <laughs> but I see why people say it's worth it because mm. it is really good. Yes. Okay, now we just stopped by Zareen's and this is a very popular Indian restaurant. They actually have multiple locations. So the one we just stopped by is in Mountain View, but they have locations in Palo Alto and Redwood City as well. This was actually my first time at the Mountain View one. So I didn't realize that they didn't have any indoor seating or anything. We are extremely full. So we just ordered one thing and we got their chicken tikka masala dali. I hope I said that correctly. It comes with some chicken tikka masala, dal lentils, chopped pickled salad, and it's supposed to come with like a little salad with mixed greens but I'm not sure if they forgot to add it to ours but um anyway this is actually really big and then let's dip it cheers, cheers. Mm. Mm. all the spices mm. pretty fragrant the grilling yeah you definitely get the flavor of the grilled mm -hmm. chicken mm -hmm. I've had so many chicken tikka masalas in my life and a lot of times the chicken is dry yeah but okay. I usually don't mind because like it's in sauce mm -hmm. so it helps like moisten it back up this is not dry at all it's yeah. like very tender and mm -hmm. juicy and the flavor is so nice it has that like tomatoey flavor it's like rich and delicious really good it's a slight bit of kick too ah yes at the end mm -hmm. and the naan is really good too it's like fluffy has mm -hmm. a little chew to it really good texture yep and then we also also stopped by Cafe 86 in downtown Mountain View. This place is actually originally from SoCal, but in the past year or so, they've opened up a few locations in the Bay Area. They're known for their ube desserts. They have so many to choose from, like literally in the display case, there was ube cheesecake, ube pop tarts, ube tres leches, ube truffles, ube butter bars, literally so much ube. And they're most famous for their ube leche flan cupcakes. So that's what we got today. Cheers. Cheers. The cupcake is really, really moist. Yes. Extremely moist. One of the <laughs> moistest cupcakes I've ever had. <laughs> and the ube flavor is quite strong too. Mm -hmm. I feel like these days, a lot of ube stuff, it doesn't really taste like ube when you eat it. But this one, you definitely taste it. The flan is nice and rich. It's really interesting to have the contrasting textures mm -hmm. of the cupcake and the flan on top. And then we also got their upside down halo halo. Basically, it's like a ube milkshake and it comes with red and green coconut jellies, jackfruit, boba, frosted flakes, a scoop of vanilla ice cream, and leche flan. So this one is a bit different from like your traditional halo halo. Usually halo halo is like a shaved ice and it has all those toppings and you mix it together. But this one is actually ube milkshake with all the halo halo toppings. Mmm. Mm hmm Oh, that's the stuff. The ube milkshake part is so good. Really strong ube, sweet, creamy. And then we also have a spoon, a long spoon, to kind of get some toppings. 
That leche flan is very rich and creamy. Delicious. Kind of fun to eat, as Bird would say. Ah, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> you know all the phrases <laughs> oh, yeah. on this channel. Oh, yeah. Big fan <laughs> over here. All right. So that's it for this Peninsula food tour. I know there's so many spots here that I didn't cover today. So if there's any ones you want to see in the future, definitely comment them below. Thank you to my sister for joining us. What was your favorite thing that we had today? Oh, there's so many things. <laughs> I like the Aruba Soba, the Plum and Almond Crostock, the Antoine's Cookies, the dark chocolate one was really good, the Esteban Musubis, the Grape Pollock, the grape one was really impressive to me. So like everything. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. -bye.